Assalamualaikum Now I will present about the introduction of our project A resistor capacitor circuit often known as RC circuit is a type of electrical circuit that uses capacitor and resistor as a passive part and is powered by either a voltage source or a current source The resistor in the circuit regulates the pace of charging or discharging and the capacitor stored energy the stores energy the capacitor must be changed and discharged over an extended period of time the capacitor slowly charged through the resistor if the resistor and capacitor are connected in series and this process continue until the voltage source across the resistor is equal to the surplus voltage by allowing some frequency to pass through while blocking others, RC circuit can be utilized to filter a signal, band pass filter, and band stop filter typically requires RLC filters. However, rudimentally, one can produce with RC filter. The two most RC filters are high pass filter and low pass filter without an an external voltage source. The simplest RC circuit consists of a resistor and a charge capacitor connected to one another in a single loop. The capacitor starts to release its stop energy through the resistor as soon as the circuit is closed. Kirchhoff current law can be used to calculate the time varying voltage across the capacitor. The time derivative of the total charge on the capacitor must be equal to the magnitude to the current flowing to the resistor. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rafi Kebal, AE220044. I'm from Group 3 of the Numerical Programming course. I will be building the circuit in MATLAB Simulink for Lab 4. After connecting all the wires, I check every component to see if I can change any variable values as in lab 4. After ensuring every values are correct according to the lab 4, I tested the circuit with the time stop of 0.1 and 0.5 seconds. Okay, next I'm going to continue the video by explaining about the result of our simulation. So based on our simulation, we have gained two types of graph. The purple one is for the current wave and the yellow one is for the voltage wave. For this video, I'm going to focus on the current wave. So as we have gained the graph, we can measure the value by using this manual measurement. As you can see, as I move the cursor, we can find the value at the right hand side of the screen. For example, for this, we have gained 17 microampere at the time of 0 0.033 seconds. Other than manual, we can also find the amplitude of the graph automatically. 
clicking the button as you can see this is the amplitude of the graph we can also zoom the graph by using these buttons We can also change the style of the graph, the plot type, the color of the line, the type of line. Other than that, we can also change the properties. For example, we can display the time edges like this we can also display the y label for this case we are going to use current and we can also put the title for the graph Finally, we can also show the legend and plot the signal as magnitude and phase. Since for the for the circuit, we use AC circuit. As you can see, the the bottom one is for the phase, and the top one is for the magnitude. Next, I will continue the presentation on the discussion part. So, in series RC circuit, the resistor and the capacitor are connected in the series configuration, meaning that the current flowing uh, through the circuit pass through both components sequentially. The resistor resists the flow of the current. Meanwhile, the capacitor stores the energy in the form of electric charges. When a sinusoidal voltage is applied to the RC circuit, all the current and all the voltage drops are also sine waves. Total current in an RC circuit always leads the sole voltages. Meanwhile, the resistor voltage is always in phase with the current. The capacitor voltage always lags the current by 90 degrees. On to the last part. So in series RC circuit, the impedance is determined by both the resistance and capacitive reactance combined. Impedance is expressed by ohmic unit. The circuit phase angle is the angle between the total current and the applied voltage. The impedance of series RC circuit varies inversely with the frequency. Finally, I will talk about the conclusion. In conclusion, we can talk about how we design a resistor capacitor circuit or RLC by using MATLAB simulating software. From the circuit, we got the sine wave graph of voltage at the capacitor and current at the resistor. Hence, we can say that our design has bar rotation. So, that is all from our group. We would like to thank all of you for listening to our presentation. Thank you.